Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another charm video. So today I'm going to be taking my Harry Potter bracelet and adding all my new charms. So if you've been watching my Pandora videos lately, I have bought so many new charms for this bracelet, both in the Pandora winter sale in the 50% off sale. I did a full unboxing of all of these. I got one, two, three, four, five, six charms from different places um, from that sale. And dun, 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 from Geno's. So this is one of the few, um, few bracelets in my collection. I have two that is not 100% Pandora. And that is because I could make this bracelet completely Harry Potter, and I may do that in the future because I have a lot of Harry Potter beads and he's definitely my favorite. Plus there's just a lot more of those available. Um, but in addition to loving Harry Potter, I love a lot of other things, including um, I have a little Gengar on here for Pokemon. I have a little Toothless on here because he is one of my husband's favorites. I have um, the Millennium Falcon on here, which is Star Wars, one of my favorites. When I was 12, I asked all I wanted for Christmas, we had just got a DVD player, was the full Star Wars DVD set. It was right after, I think, Attack of the Clones had come out. Um, maybe, the, maybe not Attack of the Clones. It was right after one of them had come out and I was, I mean, I've always loved Star Wars, but I was obsessed. That was all I wanted and we got them for Christmas. And my dad and I sat down and we watched all six movies back when there was only six. Um, it was the best day. So, you know, that's not the only day we've ever done that. It's not the only day I've ever loved Star Wars, but it was a good day. So we have my little Millennium Falcon on here. Now that they've released a lot more Star Wars charms, I am thinking about getting a second bracelet. I really liked that limited edition set with the black leather star wars bracelet and it had the star wars on the clasp and i missed it i didn't realize it had come out i didn't see it till it was gone i don't necessarily want the whole set though so i can find that bracelet your girl's getting it but in the meantime i'm going to go ahead and add these four charms and these six charms to this bracelet as you can see it's probably half full right now um but this particular bracelet I ordered, it's the black leather with the gold clasp because Harry Potter, a lot of these are gold. And when I ordered it, I got it from um, Hong Kong because that was the only place it was available at the time. I don't know if it's available other places now, but I, it's just, it's kind of this, the ended up being too big because I couldn't try it on in the stores in Hong Kong. So I am going to add more charms to it. I've been collecting them to do that so that it will fit better. Um, in addition to my new Harry Potter charms, one of these is actually a Star Wars charm. I have my Geno's order here, which is Boo from Mario. I would prefer it was Princess Peach because she's my girl, but you know, the Boo is cute. We have a little gold octopus and a lily of the valley for Animal Crossing. And we have a little black and gold Sailor Moon charm. So I'm just adding some more fun little characters. I'm really excited, let's get started. I can't wait to see what it all looks like. I'm gonna point y'all downwards. All right, y'all, so I've got all of my charms. I unboxed these. If you wanna see that unboxing video, as well as kind of my review of all my Geno's charms, which I have one, two, three, four, five, and the stoppers on this bracelet, as well as these four, um, check that out. I also have two photo charms that I reviewed, so I will leave a link to that below. But in this video, we are going to go ahead, I'm gonna take this apart, and I'm going to reconfigure it and put it together and then we will look at all the charms. So let's start by taking everything apart, I guess. That's the best place to start. This one will be easy to take apart. And I gave you guys all a close-up look at all of these as well in my 
believe all of these were in my 50% off winter haul video, except for the Golden Snitch was in my cruise Pandora video. So check those two out if you want a closer look at those. I love this bracelet. If I had bought it in person, I would have bought the size down. But, you know, hindsight is 2020, and I'd much rather it be too big than too small. You know, too big you can fill with more charms. Push comes to shove, I can always find some Murano's to put on this, and Murano's really help take up space on your wrist. I've already played around with the layout of this, so I already know kind of what I want it to look like. A lot of times I will just get charms and then play around with it in person like, like this until I have a design that I like. But I have a lot of new charms this time, a lot. And so when I'm trying to decide which charms to buy, um, and there's kind of options. I I tend to get screenshots of the charms on my computer and I legit play around with configurations till I find what I like. So I know exactly how I want these because I've laid it on my computer. Now, sometimes what I've laid on my computer doesn't work in real life. So we're gonna put it all together according to that picture. I will put the picture up here on the screen so you can see how I do it, um, but I, it's just in my uh, illustrator. So let's get started putting these together. All right, so let's go ahead and just start doing it according to, just laid those out so nicely. Now I'm just gonna knot according to my list. So Gengar, Toothless, we've got, C3PO and R2D2. We need the time turner and the little Nimbus. We're gonna put two dangles together on each side. Then we need one of these HP charms, Harry Potter. We need my Hufflepuff because yes, I am a Hufflepuff. Of course, we need nine and three quarters. Then Norbert. Okay, this little dragon is one of my favorites. And Norbert goes with the key. So cute. I also really like that winged key. We have the Lily of the Valley. Then we have Hedwig opposite Norbert, obviously. Marina. We have dun -dun -dun -dun, this guy, our little Millennium Falcon. We have our other HP. Okay, then we have Sailor Moon. And she goes with the Golden Snitch. Of course she does. We have our other HP. We have our Stingray. We have our sorting hat. And then we have Boo. All right, so. This doesn't make a lot of sense to me because I have two dangles here. This makes sense, right? Yeah, two dangles here. But I have two dangles here and then I have Boo out here all by himself, which doesn't 100% make sense. I think it's because, I mean, Boo and like Hedwig, they won't dangle together properly. I could put Boo with the Millennium Falcon, but I don't think that's going to dangle together right either. So I think in the long run, this is 
what I've come up with as the best configuration. We're going to try it. I may move Boo around at some point in the future. But so far I like it. I hope you guys can see it all. There we go. Hopefully this will take up more of my bracelet. <laughs> it should, it's a lot more charms. I'm really excited. I'm was a little worried about putting this one in as essentially the centerpiece because it's a Gino's charm and not a Pandora charm, but I had my nine and three quarters as a centerpiece before and it held up just fine. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and start stringing this. I love Toothless. LC3PO and I may, uh, I don't remember which video I mentioned it in, but if I start doing a Star Wars bracelet, I may move these two onto that Star Wars bracelet, but I may not, I may leave them on here. It's gonna depend on if I get that bracelet and if I get it, what charms I want to put on it. So we don't know. Dun, da, da, da. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Stringing a new bracelet, or even an old bracelet, I've had this one for a long time, um, with new charms and a new layout is exciting. And I know a lot of people are, oh, I love that one. I love my little Marina. Maybe not a lot of people, but I know plenty of people who have just open beads and they kind of design them in different fashions all the time. And I mean, if that's your thing, great. I think I would go crazy doing that. I really like making a design and then wearing it. Like once I make a design, I don't really ever wanna change it. I'm married to that design now. Our little stopper on. Now this design has a lot of dangles. So we may still need to find some more beads that are not dangles to take up more room, which obviously we could do because I have So many dangles together. So I could easily put another dangle in between these two, these two, and these two. Another bead in between those dangles. But as you can see, that does fill up a lot of the bracelet. And I don't know, I just, I really like all the dangles. Together. like they're all different things they all mean different things and they just they look kind of fun so that's the bracelet so let's go over it one more time up close we have on the end my big man Gengar coming in for Pokemon we have toothless representing for the dragons we have C-3PO and his bestie R2-D2. And on the other side, it says Star Wars. We have my Time Turner pendant. Now this one, the winged key and the snitch are pendants. So you could put this on a bracelet like this or you could put it on a necklace. It works both ways. We have my Glasses, Firebolt, and Nimbus 2000, 3000 uh, Dangle Charm. I still don't understand why it's a Nimbus and not a Firebolt, but I thought that the little bit of rose gold there would counter out this little bit of rose gold and the Stingray since those are the only bits of rose gold on here, but I wanted to leave the Stingray on here. So now I have it balanced, which makes my happy little OCD heart happy. Then we have our Harry Potter charm, and I actually have two of these on this bracelet. 
because I wanted to be able to show off the crest and the castle. That castle is beautiful. I just love it. Hufflepuff. I am a Hufflepuff. Patience, dedication, and loyalty to my charms. Platform nine and three quarters. Norbert. The winged key. My lily of the valley. Let me know if you want to see my island updated because it looks awesome. If I say so myself. Hedgewig. I really wish Hedgewig had lived. Marina. My little Millennium Falcon. My other Harry Potter charm. Sailor Moon charm. Oh, I love that. I'm so glad I got that. And the Golden Snitch. I'm not 100% sure I like these two together. The other ones seem to dangle together a little better. But we'll see. I might... No. No, we're going to live with it like this for a while. Harry Potter icons. It says HP on the other side with a little, little golden yellow CZ. My stingray. My sorting hat. And my boo. All right. That's the whole thing. It's definitely, like you can tell, it's a lot more charms. So, here we go. Moment of truth. If I put it on my wrist, we'll see if I can't do this on camera because... I'll do fine at something until I try to do it on camera. This clasp is very hard to do. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh, that, that fits better. Like it still, it still rolls, but I tend to like when my bracelets roll. Um, so Oh, I love all the dangles. That's so pretty. It definitely still has a lot of space back here. So, I mean, I could add more charms to this even, but this shows them all off nicely on the front. So cute, so cute. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, send it to a friend, leave me a notification. Apparently I have to go. My dogs are paging me. Bye, y'all.